Hi, I'm Dalen with Mizu Inc. Today I'll be showing you how to hook up a cover start toggle switch. Before we start anything, you want to make sure the power is off. Go to your breaker, make sure that breaker is off. Um, I do know this is our breaker number seven. If you're not sure which breaker it is, you can get a power tester, test the wires. You just don't want to shock yourself. It should only be 110, but still, you don't want to shock yourself. So first thing, I'm going to show how this kind of the wiring works. So the conduit exposed makes it kind of easy for us. From our breaker, we have our three wires, a power, a neutral, and a ground. 12 or 14 gauge wire going from the breaker to the cover switch. Then from the cover switch back to the cover box, we have four wires, a neutral, a ground, and two directionals. Also 14 or 12 gauge wire. Okay, so right here we have our four wires coming from our control switch and our four motor wires right here. So we have a red, black, white, and green coming from the motor. In this one we have a yellow, black, white, and green. Keep it simple. We're gonna do colors to color. I like to use these waterproof wire nuts. Um, obviously in the cover box, um, sometimes the drainage isn't great. We just make sure these are staying nice and dry. We'll do red to yellow. White to white, or neutral to neutral. I guess to clarify, our black and red wire coming from the motor um, are your directionals. White is your neutral and green is ground. Likewise, when you get to the switch, Make sure we know that the two directionals, what color they're hooked up to on our neutral wire. All set, now we'll take it up to the switch. Right, so with the switch, the lock box, unlock that. You have your cover, uncover, this will indicate a light. So to wire it up, all we're gonna do, super simple. So we're gonna put our power wire on the black lug of the single side by itself. Put that off, put that in goes behind the brass, just like that. And then we're gonna tighten it down. Now, with our directionals, uncover and cover. On this indicator light, you have these two black wires. One is an open-end wire, and one has this little fork on it. The fork you're gonna put on one of the directionals, doesn't matter one or the other. I always do the top just because that's just what I've done. <laughs> so I'll do my yellow directional. Sometimes it's red, sometimes it's you know, blue, whatever that color may be. Put the yellow one on top for now. Again, this is coming from the cover box. And our other directional here on the bottom. Same idea, just like so. Now to get that fork on, I tighten this one down all the way. Back it out a little bit. This seems an easier way of getting that, that fork on there than trying to fight it before, just like that. Tighten that back down. Next one is this ground lug here on the bottom. This builder was nice enough to put this little uh, fork thing on there for us. Um, so we're gonna put that on just like that. Now the last little step is we have our two neutral wires coming from, one from the cover box and one from your breaker. And we are gonna attach that to this little guy here for our indicator light. So now, every time that the switch runs in that direction, that light will turn on. So, perfect. And in the hardware kit, uh, in the switch box came these four little screws. Inside the switch, you'll see the four holes, one, two, three, and four. See those? And these will line up the holes in the junction box, bottom ones. Perfect. Last thing, we'll turn the breaker on and see if we got it right. So cover. You just want to tap and make sure it's going the right direction. It looks like we did. First try. And test in both directions. Make sure they're both working. Perfect. And that's how you hook up a cover star toggle switch.